Welcome to the final episode of Three The Gods in Two. which arises from the abyss. Reside within his blade and cleave through the vermilion flames. Take this! Deadly cross! Now's our chance! Class 7, let's go! Watch out, this is a tough one. My turn! Uh, ha! Let's move! My blade will cleave the grits and light the way! I'll show you how it's done. My turn. Can you handle this? With pleasure. Unforgivable. Let's move! That's embarrassing. 
My turn. I'll handle this. You have my thanks. Let's move. Here I go! Yeah! I suppose I should thank you. Here I go! Marcus, activate! I'll handle this. Marcus, activate! Yeah! yeah. Thanks! <laughs> Let's move! I'll handle this. Thank you. Leave this to me. Witness the fruits of my training. My turn. <laughs> it's my turn. Marcus, activate. Take this. Strong enough. I'll handle this. <laughs> Pathetic. Leave it to me. Sorry, can you handle this? Come on, Lammy! That's for you! You have my thanks. Very well. <laughs> Let's move!
Leave this to me. I won't lose to the likes of you. Argus, activate! Let's move! Thanks. My turn. This activate. Onward. I should thank you. My turn. This activate. Huh. I wasn't strong enough. My turn. My turn. Come strong! I should thank you. I wasn't strong enough.
I'll handle this. Marcus, activate! Huh. You have my thanks. This could be an issue. I leave this to you. No problem. Hang in there, everyone! <laughs> I don't need your help. My turn. Marcus, activate! Huh. <laughs> Thanks! I didn't even bother. <laughs> Very well. can't be happening. I'm not done yet. Yeah! Here I go. Yeah! I appreciate it. My turn. Can't be happening. Let's move. Huh. I suppose I should thank you. Yes, sir. Come on, lady. Very well. Come strong! I'm sorry. It's my turn. Thanks! to me! Huh. <laughs> I don't need your help. Here I go! Yeah! I suppose I should thank you. Very well. 
My turn. Can't be happening. Here I go. Yeah. I appreciate it. My turn. It's my turn! Here I go! My turn. Thanks! This this can't be happening. I'm sorry, everyone. Ah. Watch out! This is a tough one. Right. 
turn. Ha! <laughs> this is nothing. This is a tough one. Here I go. Do this. 
turn. Ha! Here I go. Sit. It's my turn.
yet. its core. 
with the Crown Prince in it. I'll clear a path. You focus on rescuing. Got it! Scratch me. You keep going. You're the only one who can save him now. So don't you dare look back. Right. Eight leads, one play, seven four. And Lightning's domination. Exhausted, but his life doesn't appear to be in any danger. Yeah, he's lost a lot of mana, but nothing that would prove fatal. He'll be all right with some rest. Oh, oh thank goodness. Oh, that's a relief. That's our mission complete. We recovered the other one of this nation's greatest treasures. Ah, <sighs> this, this can't be. Yes, again. I can't believe how wrong this has gone. I can't imagine the Grandmaster is going to be very pleased with me when I get back. The Grandmaster? That's Ouroboros' leader, right? No. The very same. The only absolute figure to uh. we Anguis. The Supreme Existence carrying Him. out the Orpheus' now, final plan, who will mean? guide the souls of all. The Black. The Black. The souls of all? Fallen. I don't get it. Hmm? So that's... So that's why you broke the taboo and left seven years ago. That's right. I became a guide for the second part of the Grandmaster's plan, known as the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. A plan to use the Hollow Phantasm and Crossbell to awaken the Blaze in the Empire. The plan is so the one. Regardless, thanks to you and Crow, I was able to advance it. Crow? any mana from inside. And that vast hole. That must be from where he was pierced during the battle. No!
no. Oh no. Girl. This. The way it got. This isn't happening. <laughs> I'll heal you right away. Help me, Celine. I'm on it. Man, same place I shot Osborne too. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, huh? Crow, you don't have to talk. <laughs> Sorry, Rain. Looks like I won't be able to keep that promise after all. To Angelica. George, are gonna have to. It's okay. It doesn't matter right now. We need to stop the blood. Oh my god. It's hopeless, isn't it? I'm afraid so. He's been pierced through the heart. Even our witchcraft won't be enough. The most I can do is make it as painless as possible. <sighs> It's not working! <laughs> Thanks, Emma. And you, Kitty. At least this way, I can say my goodbyes. Crow? No! Yeah. No, don't talk like that! Yeah. I swear, you're such a spoiled kid sometimes. Elliot? concert was really fun. Keep on loving music. As much as I loved yours. Elisa, try and get along with your mom. Alright? You've got your differences. But at least she's still alive to talk to you. Okay. Okay. Machias. Yusis. Stay good rivals for one another, okay? The Empire might change with the times. Of course we will. I refuse to accept him as a friend, but I'll accept him as a worthy rival. Laura, Fee, Gaius, Milium. A lot's happened right. this past year, but I really enjoyed it so. We should be the ones thanking you. It's been fun for me, too. You've been a wonderful classmate and comrade. Thank you. I know I'm an iron blood, but it was real fun for me, too. Oh, I. Sarah. Thanks for everything. These last two years. And Vita. A lot's happened between us. But I'm glad I had you there. You were as much of a model student as I was a model teacher. But still, I should be the one thanking you. Hey now. <laughs> What's with the long faces? <laughs> what? You were all going to be in for some... <laughs> tough times. I can't go any farther now. <laughs> but you can. So keep going forward. Relentlessly, without looking back. <laughs> no, this can't be happening. Oh, yeah. That fool. The sentimental drivel. Damn it all! How could I lose the Azure Chevalier at a time like this? Why must I be surrounded by nothing but disappointments? And that goes for you too, witch, and your useless society. How 
dare you! What do you think you're doing? I gave him my favor, and this is how he chooses to repay me? By standing in the way of my ambition? I should never have wasted my time on that waif from a fallen country to begin with. You utter scum. Please, don't speak of him that way. You're terrible. <laughs> Duke Cayenne, you will unhand him. If you continue this shameful behavior a moment longer, then I will be forced to respond in kind. <laughs> Your part in this is over, witch. Uh, <gasps> no! Vita! Grianos? Uh -huh. Wow. Rufus? What's he doing here? <laughs> Oh, of course! I still have you! Thank goodness you're here, Rufus! You... You did come to help me, didn't you? <laughs> no. As a commoner might put it, in your dreams. What? Huh. Target in sight. Target restrained. I'm dying. What's going on? What's she doing? Well done. You've behaved disgracefully toward the Imperial family and brought a calamity upon the innocent people of the capital. We may both fly the banner of the Noble Alliance, but I'm afraid I can't turn a blind eye to your misdeeds any longer. As the Alliance's Chief of Staff and a citizen of Arabonia, I hereby place the two of you under arrest. No! Yes. <laughs> I see. It all makes sense now. I thought something was amiss about you from the very beginning. I just couldn't work out where you had gotten that girl from the Black Workshop. But it seems that all this time, you were just waiting for your chance, weren't you? <laughs> Why, whatever do you mean? Good. Vida? None of this is making any sense. <sighs> oh, I get it now. Milium? What do you get? Oh boy, I feel really stupid now. I can't believe it took me this long to figure out. You're one too, right? <laughs> Yeah, it sure looks that way. Thank you for rescuing his blood. highness. Yeah, sounds like things were a real mess in here. Captain Claire? Captain Arundel? Wait, then... Now I get it. <gasps> it, it can't be. All this time, you were an iron blood? The group's primary member, in fact. Though that secret was, until very recently, kept between myself and His Excellency the Chancellor. The others knew there was a primary member, but were never told who it was. <coughs> Pretty much what he said. You should have seen my face when I found out earlier. <laughs> wow, even you couldn't figure it out? <sighs> what is the meaning of all this? The, the successor to one of the four great houses is the former Chancellor's protege? Why? Your high position in the Noble Alliance was secured! It was only a matter of time before you became the next Duke Alborea. Why reveal this now? What could you possibly have to gain from professing your allegiance to a dead man? He would gain nothing, which is why it's rather fortunate I'm very much alive. <gasps> ah! Wow. <laughs> Chancellor Osborne.
No. <gasps> no way. Impossible. Get away. Oh. Oh. Touch it all. Get it all. Gramps? I'm pleased to see you again, Milliam. Greetings to you as well, Class 7. And to your esteemed instructor. And to you, Your Grace. You! How are you still alive? How indeed. Perhaps the years have dimmed your eyesight. Or perhaps I had a body double. Whatever the truth may be, I think that's the least of your worries. All you need to know is that our royal ally, Rufus Alborea, will be bringing the situation in Erebonia, and he'll do so with minimal conflict, while ensuring that the Noble Alliance's power... That was the task I entrusted to him, and it... As ever, it's an honor to serve you, Your Excellency. <laughs> this is a dream! This has to be a dream! As obsessed as Crow was with making it happen, I had a feeling all along you weren't really dead. Did you really know? You made it quite clear that you were someone not to be underestimated. Back when we were working with you regarding the situation in Liberal. <laughs> I'm afraid I haven't a clue what you're talking about. I'm amazed you can say that with a straight face. You're referring to those steam tanks and dealing with the aftermath of the Hommel incident, I take it? <sighs> but I could never have predicted you would have taken a branch of the 13 factories under your control. What exactly do you plan to do? <laughs> Is that not obvious? I'm taking over that phantasmal blaze plan of yours. And my first order of business We'll be sorting out the mess you left in Crossbell. <laughs> I'll allow you to leave this time, witch. Slink back to your master and the rest of that brood of serpents and tell them if they even think of trying to stand in my way, I'll crush them beneath my heel. <sighs> <sighs> Vita? Oh, wait! I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Give my regards to the Elder. And I'm sorry for the trouble I've caused you all. Please, take good care of Crow for me. <sighs> you... Vita. Have at least given us a chance to speak as well. Um, you've all done excellent work. Icy Maiden, White Rabbit, Scarecrow, and you, Jane. Thank you, Your Excellency. I'm overjoyed to see that you're alive. Can't say I honestly thought you were dead in the first place. Well, if anyone could survive being shot through the chest, it'd be you, so I did wonder. I don't imagine you intend to reveal your secret to cheating death, do you? <laughs> and rob you of such a splendid conundrum to puzzle over. This castle will return to its original form within a few hours, but our work is far from over. I'll be giving all of you new assignments. As always, I expect only the best. Yes, Your Excellency. Man, things are about... I wonder what I should do. Rufus, I want the situation here as, as soon as you have things under control. Uh, what? With pleasure, Your Excellency.
I'm not trying to tell you the Chancellor was evil or anything. Still, there's no denying that he managed to outwit my grandfather. I'd say it's fairly normal for a student to want to avenge his master's defeat, wouldn't you? Man, same place I shot Osborne too. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, huh? Here we go. Rain, don't! That's really not a good idea! <laughs> Why? Why are you still alive? Crow shot you! You're supposed to be dead! He didn't get revenge on you! Was everything he did... Was his whole life for nothing?! Reen... Oh... Reen... That's enough. <laughs> Just as you have your reasons that guide your actions, so too does His Excellency. And I believe you factor into those reasons more than you might think. What? Reen, I pray you grow up strong and healthy. If you're listening, hear me now. Please allow this child. <laughs> I see you finally remembered the truth. I'm glad to finally see you again, my son. You've grown into a fine young man. Indeed. The Empire will soon know of the Ashen Chevalier, the hero whose brave deeds allowed us to reclaim the capital. And who better to assist me than a national hero? Five. So dead. Wow.
go in. Oh, I can't, I can't look down, I can't look down. Ah. Oh my god. See you guys on. Uh, the next week. Oh, it feels like. Oh, what is that? Oh, shit. Uh. Why does it, when it, when it's speeding up, it feels like I'm speeding up by a road. Hi. Uh. Oh. Did you take a photo? new weapons? How can we compete with something so mobile? There's nothing to fear! They may be mobile, but they're a damn sight easier to handle than that... What the? Huh? Hello! Incoming a three pop! What the hell? that? The Ashen Chevalier. The hero of the Imperial Army. The area beyond here is Imperial territory. You have no business treading into Crossfell. That was a warning. Try to advance any farther and I will show no mercy. Ugh. All units retreat! We're returning to the outskirts of Altair! I knew you were the one who ended the Civil War, but seeing you up close, you're really something else! Not at all. I'm still fairly inexperienced, if you ask me. Recover the wounded in any POWs and return to Tangram Gate. Just remain vigilant until the speech is over. Yes, sir! It's now March, 1205 of the Septian calendar. Over two months have passed since the Azure Tree vanished. So much happened during those months. President Kreuz was arrested, Crossbell's movement for independence was promptly declared invalid. And before anyone could process what was going on, 
Speaker McDowell became Mayor McDowell. The war in Erebonia came to an end sooner than anyone had anticipated, but it was quickly followed by the invasion of Crossbell. Gorelia Fortress, which once served as the only physical link between the two nations, was no more. Huh? But that proved to be little more than a temporary setback for the Imperial Army, who acted by flying hundreds of tanks over the state from a vast airship. In no time at all, Crossbell was occupied. The Calvert Republic which had been wrapped up in its own share of chaotic internal disputes, finally reacted to Erebonia's bold invasion in turn. It began with sending its cutting-edge armored airborne divisions into Crossbell, hoping to force the Empire out of the region completely. But every attempt they made resulted in failure, as they were repelled effortlessly by one soldat after another. And today, at Orcus Tower, the new seat of Crossbell's government, the new wow. rulers of Crossbell rose to deliver a rousing speech. Friends and citizens, it brings me great pleasure to stand here among you once again. But even in the midst of such gladness, the specter of the harm Crossbell has visited upon the Empire lingers still. The destruction of Garelia Fortress and the ensuing civil war it caused has taken a great toll in resources and in lives. The anger, sorrow, and dismay in the hearts of the Erebonian people is still fresh, still too near. But today is a joyous day, a day to put the troubles of the past behind us. Let us join hands and step boldly into the future, leaving our anger and grief behind. Challenges will rise before us, but together we shall meet them. Together, we can rise above the tumult of these troubled times. Men and women, old and young, rich and poor, those from every walk of life can share in these aspirations. Looking toward that goal, there is someone I'd like to introduce to you today. A brilliant young man who played a pivotal role in bringing Erebonia's civil war to its swift conclusion. And the individual most responsible for the historic accomplishment that sees me standing before you today. The first Governor General of Crossbell, Lord Rufus Alberea! Whoa! Greetings, friends. It truly lifts my spirits to be here among you. I'm honored to have been entrusted with the profound responsibility of acting as Crossbell's first Governor General. As I'm sure you're all aware, the division between the nobility and the common people is a long-standing part of Erebonian life. Personally, I stand in support of our class system, but I fully expect that one day it will fade away. After all, if each citizen of the Empire conducts themselves with the courage, dignity, and grace expected of a noble, then what difference would remain between myself and any of you? As I hope for that day, allow me to speak not only as your Governor General, 
but as an individual when I say, in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eugen III, I hereby proclaim the annexation of Crossbell into the Erebonian Empire. May the goddess above stand witness, and may she forever bless Erebonia and Crossbell with... No. How should that happen? We've got some real larger-than-life characters in charge of us now. The Imperial Chancellor's intimidating, but he's so charismatic that the people eat up his every word. They love the guy. <sighs> I can see why he's the bee's knees over in Heimdall. The new Governor General's something else, too, albeit for different reasons. He, like, he'd tell you to do something, and the next thing you know, you'd find yourself doing it just to see him crack a smile. Well, Alberé is the name of one of the top noble houses in the Empire. Top two, even. No surprise that the heir of such an affluent family would be popular, but it... That's what gets me, though. Those two were on completely opposite sides during the war. So, why are they both so buddy-buddy now? You're telling me. By the sounds of things, Erebonians can't make heads or tails of what's going on with it either. But you know how it is. There's so many rumors springing up thanks to the war, it's hard to tell truth from fiction. Yeah, I've even heard about a thousand arched tall castle appearing in the capital. I mean, that's gotta be made up, right? There's no way something like that's real. <sighs> You've got a real short memory if you think that's bull. The Azure Tree wasn't that long ago, you know. Point taken. Yes, this is the office of the Crossbell Times. What? Representative McDowell will be issuing a statement. Sounds like something big's happening behind the scenes already. I'll get to gathering some info on what's happening for our international section. Works for me. Gotta use those connections of yours for something, after all. <laughs> well, see you later. Our independence came and went like bubbles on the water, and now we aren't even a state anymore. We're in for some tough times ahead. No. They always say that the pen is mightier than the sword. I won't let those guys outdo me. Chief! Let me handle that story! Huh. That's all we of Heiyue can do for you, I'm afraid. Oh, wow! The guards have been given a little incentive to stay out of your way. You should face no more obstacles in your operation. Thanks, Sal. Think nothing of it. It's my pleasure to play all the cards out. The place you're aiming for is where all the information in Crossbell gathers. As well, what you're doing does us no shortage of favors, I'll have you know. <laughs> well, just this once, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> Do take care, Yin. Uh, I've received information that quite a skilled warrior is in Crossbell at the moment. As have I. Nonetheless, thank you for your warning. Oh, not at all. I wouldn't want anything happening to a valuable... I believe that does it for me. Oh. being awfully cooperative, isn't he? Then again, it's not a stretch to think he's only doing it because he's got something up his sleeve. He's an incredibly shrewd man. Most likely, he's happy to do whatever will shine the most favorable light on him once Crossbell's occupation period is over. True enough. He wouldn't want to screw up his chance to potentially play mediator between Crossbell and the Republic. I get the feeling he'd get along great with Lecter. 
He's our ally for now, but there's no guarantee how long that'll last. Exactly. It's in our best interest to remain wary. Still, if working with him helps protect those I care about most, then I'll gladly do so. Likewise. Tio said to aim for the area up ahead. Crossbell's future rests in our hands. So let- Right. Okay. How will the Sega's? All the next of you. 